happy Monday everyone um, I'm driving and so I'm going to just talk a little bit while I drive um, t today I want to know what is your backup plan we all have them whether it's in a relationship or whether it's in a job or whether it's in you know any other decision that we might make um, you know whenever people get married they have and they want to get married outside they always have a backup venue in case it rains um, you know we always have or try to have a savings account for a rainy day as a backup plan in case we get a flat tire or an appliance goes out or a child gets sick so today what is your backup plan and what is the motive behind your backup plan do you have that backup plan as a safety net just out of practicality or is that backup plan put in place out of fear so um, I know that over the last couple of years I have struggled with you know some a little bit of PTSD of losing everything due to letting go for divorce purposes and having to rebuild everything so I live like I said before and you'll hear me say it a lot because it's part of what I struggle with um, you will find that I am constantly in flight and fight mode so I'm always fighting every single day to be my best and try to do and please what I mean and everything for everyone and that's absolutely impossible and I live in constant fear of failure and um, letting others down and also I live in flight where when things start to get hard I start looking elsewhere whether you know with a relationship let's just say um, you know I get into well there have been more like situationships and relationships these days but whenever things start to get real and I start to um, have feelings but I'm afraid I start looking for a backup someone to have on the back burner just in case this person decides they don't want me anymore and that's completely wrong <laughs> and we don't need to do that because it's not fair to me it's not fair to the people involved and you don't in that situation the motives are not pure you don't have a backup plan out of practicality your backup plan is out of fear so today I want to just kind of challenge you to question the motives of your backup plans and understand that you know the Word of God tells us in Proverbs 3, 5 through 6, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your understanding. And always acknowledge Him, and He will direct your paths. So that's what I'm going to be walking in today, and every day from this point forward, if I can continue to remember, is which one of my backup plans are not benefiting me but just adding more stress and doubt and adding um, just more conflict in my spirit instead of handing that over to God to understand that if I trust in him and not try to control the things that may not happen in my life that I'm afraid of happening that God's going to be the one to make all my paths straight ahead of me before I even set foot on those paths. So today, what's your backup plan? Are you trusting in God or are you leaning on your own understanding of the things that have happened in the past and the fear uh, that they may happen again in the future? Or are you acknowledging Him? in all of your ways so that he can make your path straight and continue to lead and guide and direct you into your purpose and calling so this morning 
I just thank you, Lord, for all the blessings in my life. And I thank you for these wonderful people who are watching this video right now, Lord. I pray over each and every one of them a special blessing that you will give them clarity in their vision and their purpose and calling in life. And that you will lead God and continue to direct them on the path that you have set before them. And that they will lean on you and not on their own understanding. That they will acknowledge that you are the most holy and high God. And that you have their best interests at heart and that you want to give them the desires of their heart and that they have no fear no anxiety and that they are fully comforted in knowing that you are all-knowing and all-powerful and that you have laid the very foundation for each and every one of them to succeed in all areas of their life and that they don't need a backup plan because you are the ultimate backup plan because you hold it all in your hands anyway and it's all these things I ask in your name, dear sweet Jesus. Amen.